Welcome, students, to today's lecture on cardiac sarcoidosis. In this comprehensive session, we will delve into the intricate details of this intriguing condition. Our aim is to provide a thorough understanding of the etiology, pathogenesis, clinical presentation, diagnostic modalities, treatment strategies, and prognosis of cardiac sarcoidosis. So, let's begin our journey into the world of this rare and complex disease. Cardiac sarcoidosis has multiple causes and risk factors. Research indicates that genetic predisposition, specifically certain HLA variants, and environmental triggers like infectious agents and silica exposure, contribute to its development. Identifying these factors helps clinicians implement personalized preventive strategies. In the pathogenesis of cardiac sarcoidosis, we investigate the immunological and inflammatory pathways involved. Dysregulated immune responses lead to granuloma formation, driven by Th1 and Th17 cells producing pro-inflammatory cytokines. Infiltration of inflammatory cells exacerbates tissue damage. Understanding these mechanisms can inform targeted treatments. Cardiac sarcoidosis presents with a diverse array of clinical manifestations, including both cardiac symptoms and extracardiac involvement. Cardiac symptoms may range from palpitations, syncope, and exertional dyspnea to more severe manifestations like arrhythmias and heart failure. Additionally, extracardiac manifestations can involve the skin, eyes, and lungs, with findings such as erythema nodosum, uveitis, and pulmonary involvement. Recognizing these varied presentations is crucial for early detection and appropriate management. The diagnosis of cardiac sarcoidosis involves using several diagnostic tools, including electrocardiography, echocardiography, cardiac MRI, and PET scanning. These tests help identify characteristic abnormalities and provide information about inflammation and fibrosis in the heart. However, it is important to understand the limitations and potential complications of each test. Endomyocardial biopsy plays a crucial role in confirming the diagnosis of cardiac sarcoidosis. This invasive procedure involves obtaining myocardial tissue samples for histological and immunohistochemical evaluation. However, interpretation challenges exist due to the patchy distribution of granulomas and the risk of sampling errors. Additionally, potential risks associated with the procedure, such as cardiac perforation or arrhythmias, must be weighed against the diagnostic benefits. Understanding the role and limitations of endomyocardial biopsy is vital for accurate diagnosis and treatment planning. Cardiac MRI and PET scanning have emerged as invaluable tools in diagnosing and monitoring cardiac sarcoidosis. Cardiac MRI allows for the assessment of myocardial inflammation, fibrosis, and response to therapy, providing crucial information for prognostication and treatment optimization. PET scanning, with its ability to detect cellular metabolic activity, aids in localizing active inflammatory lesions and differentiating them from scar tissue. The evolving role of advanced cardiac imaging has significantly improved our understanding of this complex disease and revolutionized patient management. Electrocardiography serves as a cornerstone in the diagnosis and evaluation of cardiac sarcoidosis. Distinctive electrocardiographic abnormalities often point towards the presence of cardiac involvement. These abnormalities include ST segment elevation, T wave abnormalities, heart blocks, and ventricular arrhythmias. Recognizing these patterns is crucial for early detection and initiation of appropriate treatment strategies. By interpreting electrocardiographic findings accurately, clinicians can make informed decisions regarding further investigations and therapeutic approaches. Cardiac sarcoidosis frequently manifests with a wide spectrum of arrhythmias, which contribute to the disease burden and prognosis. Ventricular tachycardia, atrial fibrillation, and sudden cardiac death are among the commonly encountered arrhythmias in these patients. Mechanisms leading to arrhythmogenesis include scar-related re-entry, inflammation-induced automaticity disturbances, and fibrotic disruption of conduction pathways. By understanding the mechanisms, clinical significance, and management approaches of these arrhythmias, clinicians can optimize therapeutic interventions and minimize potentially life-threatening complications. Cardiac sarcoidosis often presents with various types of conduction abnormalities and heart blocks. High-degree atrioventricular blocks and bundle branch blocks are frequently observed and can have severe implications for treatment and prognosis. These abnormalities result from granulomatous infiltration or direct involvement of the conduction system. Identifying and managing these conduction abnormalities is crucial to prevent syncope, sudden cardiac death, and improve patient outcomes. Cardiac sarcoidosis can lead to the development of sarcoidosis-induced cardiomyopathy, resulting in systolic dysfunction, diastolic dysfunction, and heart failure. The mechanisms underlying the development and progression of cardiomyopathy in this condition are multifactorial, including direct myocardial granulomatous infiltration, inflammation-mediated fibrosis, and microvascular dysfunction. 
recognizing the different phenotypes of cardiomyopathy assists in tailoring management strategies and optimizing outcomes for patients with cardiac sarcoidosis. Managing cardiac sarcoidosis requires a multidisciplinary approach involving collaboration between cardiologists, pulmonologists, immunologists, and electrophysiologists. Immunosuppressive medications, including glucocorticoids, immunomodulators, and biologic agents, form the cornerstone of treatment. Antiarrhythmic therapies, such as beta blockers and amiodarone, are employed to manage arrhythmias, while device-based treatments like pacemakers and implantable cardioverter defibrillators ICDs, aim to prevent sudden cardiac death. Regular monitoring, including follow-up imaging and cardiac biomarker assessments, is essential to track disease progression and treatment response. Thus, adopting a comprehensive management strategy is crucial for optimizing outcomes in patients with cardiac sarcoidosis. Assessing the long-term prognosis and potential complications associated with cardiac sarcoidosis is essential for patient counseling and risk stratification. The risk of sudden cardiac death, ventricular arrhythmias, recurrent heart failure exacerbations, and the potential impact on the quality of life must be carefully considered. It is important to identify high-risk patients promptly and institute appropriate preventive measures such as implantation of ICDs. Furthermore, regular surveillance and close collaboration among healthcare professionals are crucial for ensuring optimal long-term management and favorable outcomes. In conclusion, cardiac sarcoidosis is a complex disease that affects the heart and other parts of the body. By understanding its causes, symptoms, diagnosis, treatment, and long-term outcomes, we can provide better care for our patients.